Hi, I'm Brenda. I live in Georgia. And here we are in January when we should be preparing for the inauguration of our next president. In doing so, in a peaceful transition, as we have done for over 200 years, almost 250 years. And instead, we have seen things happen in Washington, that things happen in this country that I never imagined that we would see in my lifetime or even our, our children and grandchildren's lifetimes. But here we are. I'd like to read something to you. The American's Creed is a title of a resolution passed by the U.S. House of Representatives on April 3rd, 1918. It is a statement written in 1917 by William Tyler Page as an entry into a patriotic contest. I believe in the United States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the people, whose just powers are derived from the consent of the governed, a democracy and a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon those principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. Donald Trump has done none of those things. And not only has he not done any of those things, he is an enemy of the United States. He is an enemy of the United States Constitution. And he is an enemy to every person who believes in democracy. He must be removed from office immediately. I don't care if it's using Article 25. I don't care if it is by impeachment. The man must be removed from office. For us to continue to allow this disgraceful excuse for a human being to remain in office for one more second than is absolutely necessary is a blot on the name of the United States of America and on democracy. It is a stain that will never be removed. It cannot be washed out and neither can the stench. Anyone who at this point continues to support Donald Trump has blood on their hands. We all saw what happened to the capital of the United States of America. It was a nightmare. It is still a nightmare. It is incomprehensible. It must never happen again. Remove Donald Trump from office and remove him now. And let us never say his name again with anything less than disdain and disgust. There is so much more that I could say. There is so much more all of us could say. But he has to go, and that is the bottom line. Donald Trump 
has to go, and he has to go now. To do otherwise is simply to destroy this country's reputation for the rest of its existence. Thank you.